On April 30th of this year, we had a EF3 tornado touchdown in Virginia Beach. Tonight, officials across Virginia are still surveying the destruction. The tornado that hit Great Neck last night. With winds of 140 to 150 miles per hour. Is an EF3. And the path of the tornado went right over the Lindham River Basin Phase 2 reef site. And so, out of precaution, the team decided to take our new underwater ROV to the site. And right along the track of the tornado, we deployed the ROV to take footage and check for debris. We were curious to see if anything that the tornado could have picked up before it hit Broad Bay could have been brought over and then dropped along our reef site. So luckily, when we were out there and deployed the ROV, there was nothing that we found except all good things. We found Redbeard sponge, which is an indicator of a healthy ecosystem. We found clumps of oysters along our site, which again just solidifies the fact that oysters love to live here, they will live here, and the success for our future project is right there, evidence in the water. So besides looking at the phase two site post-tornado, we also took the ROV over the 2008 constructed reef, which was a partnership with the Virginia Marine Resources Commission. Out that day was the Virginia Institute of Marine Science and the City of Virginia Beach. The City of Virginia Beach is our non-federal sponsor for this project, and they joined us to watch VIMS uh, monitor our SAV work, so our submerged aquatic vegetation. VIMS is the contractor uh, for this piece of the Lynn Haven project, and they have um, been planting the SAV within Broad Bay for the last five years. They went out and they monitored the phase one site for SAV, which was the two acres that were planted on the north side of Broad Bay, and then also checked on the five acres that were planted in October of 2022. And the hope is that we're gonna see the success of the eelgrass and the widgeon grass and plan for the next future phases, which is 10 acres this fall of 2023. Combining all of the cumulative positive impacts that we have from our wetland restoration, our SAV restoration, and our reef restoration, we're really hoping to see not only improved habitat and more critters that we love coming to those habitats and using what we're restoring, but also you know, the water quality benefits that we're starting to see. 